Hi y'all. This is Monday evening and I wasn't going to do a video. I'm down here as you can see. I have a bunch of molds. I was trying to figure out something to do for a video tonight and I, I just couldn't come up with anything. I'm, I'm down here. I was pulling out molds. I was trying to think of something to do and and then, of course, I found a lot of molds that needed to be cleaned, so that's what I'm doing. I'm cleaning molds. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, I thought I'd just turn the camera on. And this is not going to be a normal video. I mean, but seriously, do I ever have any what most people would consider a normal video? <laughs> Uh, I, I'm down here basically just decompressing. Uh, I'm not in a great mood today. Uh, and yes, it has everything to do with taxes. I have filed income tax since I was 15 years old, yes. I started working full-time when I was 15. I, I went, I left home. I was still going to high school. I had an apartment that I paid $25 a week for. And uh, I went to work. I was working for Burger Queen, if any of y'all have ever seen that. Uh, and... Uh, I was supposed to have a worker's permit back then you had to. I went to the principal of the high school and he refused to give me one. And uh, of course the manager knew that I needed to be working somewhere. And so he allowed me to work without a worker's permit, which he could got in a lot of trouble. Uh, but I was very thankful. I think the good Lord has always looked out after me all my life, even when I didn't realize it. Um, And, uh, I gotta get tape. I can't get that stuff off. So, anyway, I've, I've been sitting in an income tax return since then. So, almost 50 years, y'all. 50 years. I've never filed an extension in all those years. And I've had to pay once in all those years. We were prepared for that, and it was no big deal. <laughs> and this sort of just blew me away <laughs> uh, this time. And I filed an extension. I was so stressed this morning. And uh, I just, I filed an extension for the first time ever. And so... Dan knew I was stressed, and uh, we just got out of the house. It was gorgeous today. It was 80 degrees. And it had a nice breeze. It was sunny. And so we just got out and we drove around for a little bit. I enjoyed the sunshine. It was exactly what I needed. Uh, and I can come down here and, and I can craft and I can just get lost in it. But when I do a video, I it's not the same. I have to worry about if you're seeing what I'm doing. If I'm too close or if I'm too far away. And, uh, so I wasn't going to do a video. I was just going to sort of chill out and do my own thing. And I thought, you know what? I can do that and still do a video. I can chill out. I can do my own thing. I can tell you right now, this might not be the video for you. 
and that's okay. Uh, if you're expecting it to be a perfect video, then I would suggest you leave now. And I can tell you right up front, none of my videos will be perfect. I can tell you up front, I'm a human being. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I, um, I'm just a 64-year-old lady that likes to do crafts. And for some reason, I have enough people who enjoy watching me do it. And I am blessed. I am so thankful, but I have come to the decision. There's enough professional YouTubers out there. If that's what you're looking for, go watch them. You're not going to find it here. You're, you're going to see imperfect videos. You, you might see a video where, uh, you know, I'm doing something and you can't see it. Or it's too close up. I'm trying really hard, y'all. I am. Because I do appreciate the ones that are watching me. Uh, and uh, it means a lot to me. But I'm not going to stop being me. And I'm not going to start stressing. And I'm not going to allow it to do that to me. I'm going to stay chilled. I'm going to do me. And I would love for you to be a member of this community. And I would love for you to watch me. But if that's something that isn't for you I understand and just click that button and go somewhere else um, because honestly if I'm doing something you don't like it's for your benefit and my benefit you don't stay here you find somebody else to watch and I'm not being mean and I'm not being hateful I'm just being real I'm just being truthful uh, and I may never have very many followers, and that's okay. But I can guarantee you the ones that I do have will be the ones that I want to be here. The ones that get me, the ones that know what I'm doing, and um, that's all I can ask for. So... I decided to go ahead and come on and just do this Why I decided to chat with y'all. Uh, I enjoy chatting with y'all. I enjoy when uh, we do uh, open chats in the Facebook group. Uh, I haven't gone live in a long, long time. And I don't know if when I will be able to do that again, but that is a lot of fun. And if I could figure out how to go live while doing this, uh, I would. So if somebody knows how to do that, let me know. I think it's really a lot of fun to have y'all be able to be a, a part of it at that very moment where we can talk back and forth. And yes, I'm using tape. I used alcohol on some of it too. And this is stuff that I'm planning on using. Uh, this is stuff I haven't used in a long time. And shame on me because I should have cleaned my molds right after I got through using them. And I didn't. As you can see, oh, I'm out of tape. Oh, oh, poo poo. Poo poo poo. Oh. Okay. Well, it's easier with the tape, but I can clean them with alcohol. It's just not as easy. Believe it or not, it's not. And I was going to do some mix to mold. Somebody on another group, on Marva's group, uh, most of y'all that watch me also watch Marva, but she has a Facebook group too. And 
shame on me. I should go over there every day and, and comment because we should be supporting each other. And uh, when I remember it, I do go over there and post because it helps. Uh, posting an activity on Facebook group, it, it most definitely helps to grow uh, the group there. It's there. It's Facebook's algorithm, which is different than YouTube's, but uh, activity, no matter what kind it is, um, helps. And um, I'm going to make a, a real attempt to start going over there at least a few times a week and posting and, and helping. Um, and I know that a lot of you that are on my Facebook group is also on her Facebook group. I see you over there. Uh, and I think that's awesome. Uh, and I'm going to try my best to do better with that. And her moderator, James, has not been feeling well and he's dealing with so much stuff and of course he's one that normally keeps the group going and uh, he's really really good at it but you know when you've got the moderator out It's helpful if the other members jump in there. And, and she does have some really cool members over there, too, that do that. They're aware of it. And I, I think it's cool to see that. Um, are the toes supposed to be darker? I don't remember ever doing this frog y'all yes I'm jumping from one to the other that's the way my mind works and this is not gonna be a tutorial oh okay I started talking about Marvis uh, group over there because I was on there and one of the ladies on there was asking about mixed to mold and of course I had to share how much I love it and stuff um, and she had asked me if I'd did anything uh, uh, smaller, thinner mold. And she showed me a picture of a dragon that the wings broke off. And I tried to think, and I've done smaller molds, but I didn't do anything like that, I don't think. And um, so I told her that I would try to find something and, and pour that. And I'm probably going to, but I don't know if I'll do it on camera or not. Um, I want to do this too. I can't remember ever doing this, but I'm having to clean it. So I'm thinking that maybe I did. And this is the egg too. And I don't think I ever did that either. And I want to do that because I wanted to make it, I'm going to do it uh, white, just plain white. But then I'm going to use soy wax and the natural beeswax for the yellow in the center to make it look like an egg yolk, you know, inside the egg. Because that's what that is. It's like half of a, it's like a broken egg. Um, and I thought that would be really cute. And you know, I poured this a long time ago. And I don't even know where it's at anymore. Uh, the thumbs up. I was going to use it has a, you know, hit that, uh, and I was going to put thumbs up, you know, the like button on the front and all that, I never did that, I just poured it, and it's in the craft room somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where it's at, but I thought, oh, well, I'll pour this with mixed mold and see how it does, and some of y'all might like one of these, you know, I don't know. And I know uh, I posted a link to my Etsy shop, and I apologize. I don't have anything in it right now. And I probably should never have even posted it until I got uh, some items in there. I think I got two items in there. Um, I just haven't had the time. The last couple of days, I, I, I've tried to get videos out, and... Um, 
I've been dealing with all the bookwork and all the and it's just something good but that is over and done I have until October which I will not wait until October but I do have until October and we did have to go ahead and pay it today though which we were not prepared to do but we did because uh, I didn't want to have to pay the penalty and the interest and even if you file an you know, extension, you still have to pay. Well, I guess you don't have to, but if you don't, you're asking for... Look at my shirt. It keeps getting down in there. Um, you have to pay the, the late penalty and, and interest. And no, I'm no expert on income tax, so don't, you know... I'm just telling you what I had to do. I am not giving anybody advice here. I think this would be cool in chalk. Yes, I do. And it may be after I get through doing this, I I end up pouring some things. I don't know. But right now, we're just sort of chit-chatting. And if y'all are still here, thank you for staying. I found something. Now, I don't remember what it was, but I found something and I thought, oh, that would be so cute to make those and then attach the little snails or the birds on it. And now I'm not going to remember what it is. So I used to have memory like an elephant. I really did. But now, the older I get, the more and more I, I should write things down. Yeah, I'm sitting over, I'm looking over here to see if I can find what it was, and, and I don't know. I don't see it. But it was something small. And I really wish I had some tape. These molds have got resin all inside of it. See, look at that. I'll tell you, I think the cleanup for mixing molds a whole lot easier than resin is. Oh, that might be cool with a bird or a snail on top of a skeleton's head. I think that would be cool. And that's grout. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It is not grout. It is Groot. <laughs> and it's actually quite cute. I think that is ready. I did these in resin and I did not like them. But I'm thinking maybe I would like it better in uh, the mixed mold. Is that an imperfection in the mold? Yes, it is. Hmm. Yep. I don't know if it's going to show or not. But I had a thought of wanting to do this. Doing the chrome marker, the gold, and putting it down in there. And letting it dry really good. And then putting 
and letting that be that bright chrome gold. Oh, I thought that would be so cool. Um, and then, of course, these skeletons. They hear no evil, speak no evil. I don't care what time of the year it is. People like skeleton heads. And I was standing down here earlier. And I'll tell you, you got really freaky because we lost power. And when we don't have any power down here, it is pitch black. And my iPhone is upstairs on the charger, so I don't have any, you know, my iPhone has one of those light things. And I've used that many, many times. But it got pitch black down here. And I thought, well, that's just almost spooky. And so, of course, it went out upstairs, and they knew I was downstairs, and Ashley comes running down here. And, and of course, then the light comes back on. I said, yeah, I, said, I don't have any light down here if it does it again. And she brought me a little lantern. Well, she brought me this. So I have it sitting right here. And all we can think of is it was so pretty today that a lot of people turned their air up for the first time. And uh, there was a, a power surge. I mean, there's no storming or anything going on, so. And these are little pots, too. So these would be cute with, like, a little uh, air plants in them. I need to go and get me some more air plants. I bought the last ones at Lowe's. They were like four dollars for the three of them in the pack and uh, amazon has some i put some on my wish list but I, and there's several of them in there but i don't know how big they are or anything else the ones at lowe's they only had one kind they're all green which I've not tried to look anywhere else. If y'all know where you can get air plants uh, in like a local store or something other than Amazon, let me know. Air plants are a really good alternative uh, because a lot of people want some kind of greenery and they don't want it fake, but they travel or they're, they're at work a lot or, you know, and air plants work well because they don't have to be watered all the time and uh, you can go two weeks without watering them and they won't die you know so i'm thinking what i'm going to do for the, the craft show and even online if i do anything that's got air plants in it i'm thinking about putting my little garden terrarium whatever I should call it. I don't even know what to call the thing, but the, the thing that I did, uh, I'm thinking about putting that in the Etsy shop too. Uh, and of course if I do, then I'll put the little stones that I've got in a bag and I'll bag up the air plants and do it that way. Yeah, this is the part that's not too fun, you know? This is the part you don't ever see anybody doing on their videos. <laughs> because it's it's sort of boring, you know? But it's something that has to be done. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be done, but oh my gosh, could you imagine what your molds look like? I mean, my molds look this bad, and that was after one use. Could you imagine? But, of course, I'm not the neatest person either, so. Do you think, y'all, do you think there's any crafter out there that could pour 
this mixed mold or resin or resin crete or anything else perfectly without spilling it at all and and do it just so clean where <laughs> I'm just wondering if anybody can do that I mean in reality uh, we all know that you they can make it look like they can but I'm just wondering if in reality because I've tried I'll be quite honest I have tried so hard to to see if I could do it where uh, I didn't spill anything <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a joke. There is no way. And so I finally just gave up and thought, well, okay, I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to enjoy it. If it looks messy, then I can always clean it up. And of course, I have to clean it up. I am not one that does well. Now, if something's messy like my molds, and if i out of sight, out of mind, if I can't see them, I'm okay with it. But if I can see it, oh no, I'm not okay with it at all. Have I got them all clean? Wow. See, this is much nicer when I'm talking to someone, even though I'm not facing y'all. I still feel like I'm talking to you, and it's so much nicer uh, doing this kind of stuff when uh, you, you have company. And even though this is just a video... And you're not here in person you're definitely here in spirit and I um, know that this video will be airing and you'll hear what I'm saying so in a way I am talking to you and it does help for this not to just be so uh, What's the word? Monotonous. That's the word. See, I, I got duct tape out, but duct tape doesn't work really well. Um, and I got these out. thought about trying those with mixed to mold, too. These, I don't think, need to be cleaned. I did this once, and I did not, or twice, I did not like the way it turned out. I don't want the frog... I want the frog to be totally different than the leaf. And so I thought, oh, I could do this with mixed mold. And I could do the frog, you know, a bright yellow. And pour the eye red. <laughs> and then pour the green leaf, you know, something different. And then I have this mold that I have never used before, which shouldn't surprise y'all. I have so many molds that I have not used. And I'm wondering how many of y'all, I know that y'all watch my videos and you see my haul videos and I show you the molds. And if you think it's something that you'd like, you order it. I'm wondering how many of y'all use your molds every time you get it. Let me know in the comments. If you order molds, do you use them as soon as they come in? Or do you have, how many molds do you have that you have never poured yet? That's what I'd like to know. I can tell you I have hundreds of them that I have never poured before. This is one that I did seashell with that looked all sandy. I want to redo that. But not tonight. <sighs> oh, I do want to clean this. I would love to be able to see if I could do pour this with a mix to mold. It's thin enough to pour. I've noticed that some of y'all, I watched somebody, I forgot who it was now, and their mixed mode was so thick when they poured it in. I have never, ever, unless it sets up, but on purpose, no, I have never, 
uh, the air bubbles don't pop as well and I have also noticed if you put too much powder and not enough water that it's going to crumble on you you may not notice it for a, a week or so but yeah it's it's not any better to have too much powder than to have too much water so just note that uh, now a mixed mold is fairly forgiving that's one thing I have noticed it really really is which is a good thing um, but with molds like this if you tried to put mixed mold in thick oh, it would be a, a big mess because it wouldn't get down into the, the details and I don't even know as thin as I mix it if it would but we may find out tonight and this may be a long video I'm just going to give you a heads up right now okay now I want to pour these and I'm going to try something with those and I want to pour that too. I want to pour it all. That's my problem. That I want to do with resin. Uh, and that's my new uh, poster set that I showed you yesterday. Oh, and I want you to know too, uh, I finally got around to uh, pouring silicone rubber in to make a mold out of that shell um, no 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 snail that I bought you know the one that flopped with that other silicone rubber and that was bubble city and I couldn't use well I did a we're gonna do this little skull I'm gonna see what the bird looks like sitting on it. Ooh, I want to see. I want to do Grout too. No, Groot. Why do I keep calling him Grout? Groot. Hmm. This I wait on. That I wait on. But I want to do those and this. Oh, bunch of stuff, huh? Oh, yes. Well, let me show you. And it's not done. But there it is. It's still liquidy, see? But... It's, uh, it's in there. Oh, and I want to show you something else. No, no it's not. Now, I'm not going to show you that yet. That's something else that I've done. But i got to wait for those to dry. And then there was something. Okay, let's try this. I want I want to try this and just see if it will work. Oh boy, and these water bottles, oh they leak. <laughs> they do. They they leak, look. Seriously, oh my word, they're not leaking now. They leaked, oh, they're okay, there it goes. They leak around here. Y'all know what I'm fixing to do? Let me move this over. I cleaned that up and all the color came out. That used to be like a, an amber. Uh, but when I went to color it, all the paint came off of it. But I'm going to make a mold out of that too. And so 
somehow I've lost the tray that goes Thank goodness for Rose. I'm telling you, she sends me some of the coolest stuff, and I can't find the tray that goes in this thing. But I've got the, I've got one of them she sent me. Okay. Y'all know what I'm gonna do? Have we figured it out yet? I don't have a straw down here. <sighs> so I'm not going to get the, the bubbles that I want, but maybe if I stir it up enough. Oh, let me see. Okay, and I'm going to be using uh, I'm looking for it. Oh, I'm knocking stuff down. I would make it so much nicer if I had a straw down here. Oh, oh no, oh no. I have <laughs> Oh good gracious. Look what I've done. I did it so hard that I busted the bottom out. This is soapy water. I'm cleaning with my mess. Okay. Let me see. If I can get enough suds. I don't think I'm going to get enough suds this way. Okay, let me see if I can get...
put it in here. Now this is not plugged up. Okay, Let's see if I can make more. I really need a plastic cup. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes these paper cups are great, but sometimes they're not because they don't hold up the water. That was UV resin. <laughs> Okay, I've got this, let me put a little bit more water, yeah see it's leaking, and I've got it as tight as I can get it, yep there it goes, it's leaking, so for a dollar and a quarter I got two of them. I guess I could put tape on there if I wanted to, but I probably won't. Okay. You can't really see it, right? No, we can't really. Hmm. Well. See, you can see it down at the bottom. that not showing up you can see it a little bit so let's try it again maybe it was too thin Okay, we're trying it again. Yes, remember I kept saying oh, I wished I had my little thing down here. This is a little thing that you can use with alcohol inks. And you can blow and create so many wonderful things with this thing. I used to use can air. See, you can see the tip. It's got different. I used to use uh, canned air, which is great. Uh, and I also have uh, I have a, an air sprayer. <clears throat> and I would use that sometimes, too, when I was working with alcohol inks. So if I had a ceramic tile down here... While we were waiting on that, I would show you, but I can't find, I don't see any ceramic tiles or any paper I could use to show you, but it's really cool. Oh, I do have wax paper, though. Okay. Let's just play for a minute. I'm sure y'all know how alcohol ink works. 
on resin and all that, but yeah, so we're some wax paper. I didn't have UPO paper. And so I was looking for something to play with. And I did a huge, a huge thing with wax paper. I don't know what I got. Oh, did it go off? Let's see. Okay, okay, here we go. Can you see it? The bubbles. And if you did that to make it look like foam, which I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I thought that was cool make it look foamy you could put less up here and bring it up where it looked like foam was coming up around on the edges and that's that's pretty easy to do I hope you can see that okay well, let's we're, we're not gonna stay on this very long okay because I want to get to uh, pouring, but since we started, let's just play for a minute. Oh no, yeah, I got one that won't open. Did I get it open? Woohoo! Yay! Ooh, this is mermaid. Now I use blending solution. I put way too much mermaid in there. Yep, I muddied it with the mermaid. But no fear, alcohol is here. <laughs> Must be no fear. Underdog is here. Did y'all ever watch that as a kid? I'm aging myself. I know I am. You can make some really pretty, pretty stuff. And it, it's just so much fun to play with. And yeah, I'm, I'm still... Just keep going. And you can sort of direct it a little bit by the way that you put the air down. And now there's blending solution, which gives you a different uh, it doesn't evaporate as quickly as alcohol ink does yeah see I could spend hours doing this I just I love it and now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get some 
get some white, and I'm also going to get some gold. If I can find it really fast. I hope you can hear me when I when I come over. pick stuff up. I'm over here looking for mixits is what it is and I thought I had them all together and now I can't find them. Here we go. Mixative. I don't think this is gold though. Rose gold. That's really not the gold that I wanted, though. But I've got white. Ooh, way too much. Way, way, way too much. Hmm. see what I did I could not get that open so Ooh, I don't like that <laughs> you see what I'm doing you don't like something you just remove it Oh, it's going through the paper, y'all. It's going through. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I like this better. On here. It went through the paper. Oh. Okay. Okay. I, you know I'm going to keep this, right? I can use this right here in something. You realize that, right? Okay, I'm going to set this over here to dry. Right there. I'm plopping it right there. And since this is already down here, we'll have fun with it for just a few more minutes and then we'll get started doing something else, okay? Is it going to work on this thing? See what you can, and if you don't like something, you see that? And if you're on a ceramic tile, it will all come up. Every bit of it will come up. And you can start all over again. You can play with alcohol inks for hours and hours and hours. I know because I used to all the time okay we're gonna get to the mixed mold that was just a fun thing to play with but I got a really pretty really pretty uh, piece of paper that I'm gonna be able to use later And y'all that have been watching my video with me will know where it came from. And those that didn't, won't. And that will be just our little secret. I won't share that. You have to watch the video to see what's going on from now on. <laughs> oh, I probably can't get away with that, but that would be sort of cool. Okay, I bought... Yep. Bought one of those yesterday. Let's see how well it works. Yeah, we're all, all over the place tonight. I told you this was not going to be a regular um, video. I think that just stuck there. Now that's coming off. 
but that red little circle right there is not coming off. But I got the rest of it. Look at that. There's no telling what was on here. Oh yeah, a lot of this stuff is coming off. Oh, let's put soap water on here. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, I love these things. Nope, that's not going to come off. And I'm done. I think I've got enough of it off. But I was able to get the alcohol link off, which is cool. I was afraid that was not going to be coming off, but it did. So we can move on. And we've got a clean area. And the first thing I want to do is this one. Only because I want to see if I can get the chrome, the gold chrome to go in there. And I am going to take it from the pen. And I'm sure y'all know that you can do this, right? And these are the J. Diction Chrome Marker Pens. I don't know if I ever shared that with y'all. And I paid $10 for the set of them. Okay, and I'm gonna... Do oh, I have this little thing? Yeah. Okay, and let's see if I can do it with that. I'm going to see if it's going to stick. I may have to put a bunch. But I don't care. I've got it in my head that I want to do this. So I may have to let this dry. y'all's ears I think the tip is going to be too but let's see Yeah, the tip is just too, it won't go all the way in. Well, maybe. Let me push this apart.
Yeah, I'm trying to do the sides, if you're wondering. Okay, let me dry it. So hold your ears. Now I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit. And I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Is this gonna look gold? I think I need a little brush. Let's see if this works. No. That's removing it. I need a soft little brush. Yeah, see, that's removing it. Oh. This may not work, y'all. I'm looking for just a little brush I don't care anything about. That's my liner brush. I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to mess that up either. It's already messed up. This one I'll mess. That's too stiff. I think this one's going to be too big. That's going to be too big. Oh, uh, what about this one? Uh, I think this is going to be too big too, but Let's just try it. Now that worked, see? That worked really well. be using all of it which I don't mind if it turns out I've had these for a long time
Yeah, I'm not saying much. I'm trying to get this I'm afraid I'm going to run out of this before I get it done which will be sad because I'm almost done with it Hmm. Oh, the mosquitoes were out today, too. That was lovely. It's sticking in some spots, and in other spots it's not. Okay, hold your ears. Okay. I'm cleaning the brush off. No, I'm cleaning. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. We're going to set that over there, and we're going to try to clean this up as we go. Okay. Oh, my hair is falling in my eyeballs again. Oh, no. Did y'all hear the crash? Ow. There's something that was up here. I don't know if I got them all. Nope. Oh, they're all over the place. There was a whole tub of those. See, I got it on my fingers now, so I'm going to change gloves. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm out of gloves. I am almost out of gloves. This is not good. That will stop me. Not having gloves will definitely stop me. Okay. So that goes with that right there. These are the thinkers. I've only made one set. And you know, I'm not really good at drawing hearts. And I know that's odd, right? Most people can draw hearts. I'm not good at doing it. And I may be out of gold. And I don't want a full heart. I want sort of an abstract -y heart. <laughs> yep, those are abstract -y, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep. This is my abstracty hearts. And I don't even know if it'll show up when I pour the stuff in. But if you don't try, you don't know. Yep, those are my three abstracty hearts. And then I'm going to put some of this in there. I pulled my hair back, and I'm telling you, it is not staying back, it is in my eyes i'm almost tempted to just cut it all off okay looking for that and i'm not you see how it sticks it's like it, it goes toward those molds i'm breaking it apart in the lid so I don't want to have to deal with all those big old huge flakes in that thing.
The thing I like about this is this is just so random. Uh, can you see the static? I mean, it's like it just collects where it wants. <laughs> and that's what I like about it. I mean, you can try to place it where you want it. <laughs> and you have a little bit of control. But you don't have total control. Because it goes toward... Uh, it's being pulled, you know, just like a magnet... Okay, we need to pull a little bit more apart. Okay, and then we're going to take a brush, and we're going to brush it in really, really well. I don't want it sticking up. I don't want it in clumps. And by doing this, it should not crater the mixed mold. It should just blend right in with the mixed mold because it's flat. If you don't get it flat, then it will cause little craters. And I don't want the craters. And I may need to add a little bit more to that one. Because I don't think I've got any in the upper part except for the head. And this one I don't have much in the head. But you know what? I think I'm going to leave it alone. That balance thing that I'm trying to, and sometimes you gotta let it go. Just let it go. Okay.
I'm not going to do anything to this one, I don't think. Hmm. Is that a hair? Oh my word. I don't know. Should I put some mica? Okay, we're going to put a little bit of mica on there. Yep, we are. I'm going with the hippie. Uh, wow, I picked Rose. Now, how... This is Hippie Crafter. And yes, they, they gifted this to me quite a while ago to do a review with. Which I did. But I'm going to shout them out every time I use it. Because they were nice enough to send it to me. Oh, this is gorgeous, huh? Look at that color. Oh my gosh, y'all. I hope y'all are seeing this. You know, I said this was not going to be this kind of video tonight. But this is just me playing. This is what I do. Even when I'm not on camera. This is just how I craft. I don't talk to people when I craft if I'm not on camera. I don't, I don't sit here and... and uh, talk to myself well yeah there are times when yes i do talk to myself <laughs> oh lord okay let's direct the this in another oh wow that is quite lovely are you seeing that okay Let's see how that works. Okay, we're going to go another wrap too with this mica. No, maybe not. I started to... Uh, Put some mica in Groot, but I think I'm going to just do them black and then paint them and do the dry brush of the brown, I think, and the green. I think that's what I'm going to do with that, so... Uh, Okay, what if I want to do this one in? Those I'm going to marbleize. I need the, the gold for this and these. What should I do with that one? What do you think? Okay, we're going to go ahead and pour those. And we're going to get them. Because I want to do all white. Oh, and I did hear back from Mixed and Mold uh, yesterday. And uh, they actually asked me if there was certain something that, you know, in particular that I would like. And I said, well, just the plain original Mixed and Mold powder. <laughs> That's what I use all the time. Uh, so I have no idea what they're sending me. But I'm, I'm hoping it's something that I can use. I'm hoping it's powder. I'm hoping it's not colored powder either because I don't use a colored powder. But I will be thankful for anything that I receive. 
Uh, okay. Since I know this leak, I'm just pouring water. And I'm making a bunch because I know that I've got a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is not going to be enough. scoop Good, right here. Okay. Now I have to be careful not to put too much of this in there. This is not the gold I want. And I don't know where it is. I think I've lost the gold. Well, this will have to do. This is bronzy, though. It is not gold. That sort of sucks right there. I've already made a mess. Okay. gold Okay, let me add a little bit more gold. And I apologize if you can't see this. I can't look at the camera right now.
Oh no, seriously? Oh wow. Okay. I need to make up more. I'm doing better than I thought I would do though. enough to go ahead and pour those too. So and I always cover the cup when I put the powder in to keep it from coming up. Gold. I'm popping the bubbles, y'all. up Okay. Oop. I almost did you see that? No. You couldn't see it because it's off camera. I almost uh, put the the stuff in the gold. <laughs> this is too much and I don't want to use that in the rows so I'm gonna to have to find something else to do oh let's do let's do a I 
I'm just pulling the colors from up here. I don't know what they are. And this is what we're going to do it with. Ooh, cool. Oh, they're all brand new. But we don't have time, so. One, two. And this was jade blue. And this is green. Oh, this is wild. One, two. Okay, and then I don't know what this one is. Orange yellow. Okay. And let me mix it. And we will pour this. And I think this is going to be quite ugly. But <laughs> it is what it is. And we need a little bit more. As always. I love this stuff. Have y'all figured that out yet? That's funny, isn't it? Green. We wound up with green. And I'm putting the same ones in. Swirling. And we're going to pour and hopefully have enough. Oh, do I have enough for a rock? Oh, maybe I have enough for. Let's see if I have enough for a little skeleton head. Nope. I don't think so. Let's use a scraper. Maybe I can get enough out to fill this one up. I don't think so unless I can put this in there. Yeah, I'm just mixing a little bit more up. Okay. Okay, we're going to put... Hmm. We're going to set this over here. That doesn't have to be up there. 
Okay. We're going to set that over there. We're going to bring this over here. We're going to throw that cup away. This is water. Okay, I definitely want to get that done and Groot. We may wait on the other ones. I don't know. Mixing one out of here because I want white. I want white and nothing but white in this. to mold in with the water it's over here y'all can't see it now you can see it well this has got green on it too no that is not gonna work no okay we'll use a popsicle stick they all, for some reason, have green on them. Isn't that wild? Okay, I just got a popsicle stick out here. Which is fine. I definitely don't want there to be bubbles in this one. And so I am going to spray that alcohol down in there. And I am doing this. And it looks like there's big clumps right there. And 
I don't want there to be any clumps. If there's any clumps, then it will cause a bubble. There is a clump. You see the bubbles? There's going to be air bubbles in this, I'm afraid. You see them coming up? Oh wow, they're really coming up. Where's the grain coming from? Seriously, where did the grain come? Ah, oh, it's coming from that. Oh, y'all. <laughs> no gosh, well. I know, but I'd rather get it out now than later. sort of wonky. Okay. That helped. Okay. And let's see. Am I going to have enough to do it black? Where's the black?
Okay. Let me put a little bit more water in here. Just a little bit more. Let's see if we can't get this. Poured real quick. And I'm going to have to add more black. That's not enough to worry about. Okay. Okay. So we got these poured. We don't have those poured, and I shouldn't be looking at the time, but oh my, we're at an hour and 15, 53 minutes, y'all. And so, what I'm going to do, and I know y'all tell me that you don't mind long videos, but if I catch you here the whole time, It, it would be really long and it's late now this probably won't come out until uh, Tuesday morning sometimes it takes I posted a picture on our Facebook group of how long it was taking the upload and it showed upload one hour and 50 something minutes I think and I think people were shocked by that. But sometimes, yeah. And, and I don't edit, you know. Well, y'all know I don't edit. Uh, I, But it still takes me several hours once I uh, do the video uh, to get it uploaded. It takes me about an hour to rotate it on my phone for some reason. I don't know why I've got the phone her, uh, set sideways, long ways. In the, I film it that way. I film it uh, horizontally, not vertically. But when I go to, when I end the video, I always have to flip it. I always have to flip it horizontally. It's 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 horizontally but straight up and down. And I can't figure out why in the world. So it takes me about an hour to save it on my phone before I can even get it uploaded to YouTube. And if anybody out there knows why my phone is doing that, and if there's a solution, please let me know. Because that would save me about an hour. Uh, because I have to do that every time. I have to edit it, flip it, and then save it. Um, and it is a pain. And I have something right here. I'm trying to get off of here. I wanted to show you what I did earlier, but they're still wet. So I guess that's going to have to wait.
I really like this. And I don't think it's coming through the camera good. But it looks like, you know that bubbly foam that comes up? Yeah, that's, that's going to be really cool. Uh, well, we did the alcohol. Yeah, see? See that? Now, I, I will put uh, my glue mixture on there. And I will put that in resin. Oh, my word. Is this big enough? Oh, okay. I can tell you right now what I'm going to do with it. You see the dragon mold? I'm going to do a tie-dye tie, tie dye dragon, y'all. Look at that. Yep, that paper's going in this dragon mold. See, you just don't ever know what you end up creating. Or why. <clears throat> but that's what's going in there. I'm checking this to see if it's dry enough for me to show you. And no, it's not. I'll show you. Let me see if I can get it over here. It's on big sheets. Can y'all see that? It's still wet. Yep. see it. It's going to take overnight to dry, but yep, there's a flamingo one. I did that before I decided to turn the camera on. And this is what I've got. I've not finished it, but that's that one thing that I put the napkins on and I'm still playing with it. So it's not totally done. But that's what it looks like so far. Oh, and I found these. I'm going to make molds out of these. I think these would be cute. That's what it was. Remember when I said I found something that I thought would be really cute to put the birds on? But I couldn't figure remember what it was. It was these. I'm going to make molds out of these. And I just thought... That would be the coolest thing. Let me show you. I've got a snail up here. And i got a bird up here. Look at there. And then I... Oop. Is the snail too big? No. The snail could go right there. And I'm wondering if any of these are dry enough for me to take out. And yes, I know, it's way too early. It is way, way too early. And y'all don't do as I do, okay? Y'all wait at least an hour. Please. I don't want y'all stuff breaking. Uh... And, uh, you know what? Those are too thin. I'm going to wait. I am going to wait. Uh, I just poured this one, didn't I? Oh, it's crumbling in there. Oh, it's because I'm... See, don't do as I do. Hmm. Yeah, I've ruined this already. Okay, let's just take it out. Because I've already ruined it. It's crumbling because I... Yep. <sighs> Y'all don't do what I do. Please. Because that... 
That would have been so pretty. Don't take it out too soon. I'll still use this. Y'all know that I still use my stuff even when it does this. And see how, oh, that would have been so pretty. It still doesn't look bad to me. It still doesn't look bad. That's so wild. It really doesn't look bad. That's very, very pretty. Very pretty. But yeah, you see, I knew it's wet. It's wet. See, it's still, it's wet. It's, you see what, yeah, I took it out way too soon. And it's amazing that it did not crumble. <laughs> so don't take your stuff out. Give it the full hour, y'all. I'm going to have to do this again. Because if it turned out that nice, crumbling, I've got to see how it's going to turn out if you wait. Which I'm not doing it right now. But I'm not going to clean the mold. Because I think I could probably just put a little bit more on and reuse that the way it is. But I am not taking anything else out. I'm going to wait the full hour. And we're at two hours and three minutes. So uh, I'm hoping the phone won't go dead. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this. And then I will come back when it's time to demold but I am going to wait an hour and this won't this won't come out until uh, Tuesday morning because I don't know how what time it is but it was fairly late when I came down here let me see yeah it's 11 17 right now um, and if I wait an hour in fact I may wait till in the morning to come down here and demold this. Uh, and what I may do is if I can just hook the phone up to the charger, which I have right here. And I'm doing that now to see if I lose the video. I know I'm not losing the video. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it. Now y'all, if I don't come back and the video just goes bloop and there's no ending, it's because I did something really silly and I hit the wrong button. Uh, and if that's the case, just know uh, that I am very thankful for each and every one of you. Um, and I do appreciate uh, all the support. But I'm hoping that uh, that won't happen. And I'll be back to show you the demolding in the morning. Wow, it worked. This is now like 10 o'clock on Tuesday. 10 o'clock in the morning. And yeah, putting the, uh, the charger in, it didn't go dead. It worked. Ooh, this is sort of cool. These have been setting in all night long. And even though I was really stupid and took this out early, you know, it still looks really, really good. And and I definitely could use that. That's amazing, actually. Yeah, there's little pieces coming off. But the only thing I really see is right there. And I could sand that down. But it does not look bad. So I'm still going to use that for something. I will be re-pouring that though. 
I am going to get gloves on only because I'm almost out of gloves too. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to use these gloves. Hold on. Let me go get. Do I have some gloves in here? No, I have those big gloves. Okay, no, I'll just wear these. What I do? I dropped one on the floor. My hands are finally starting to heal. And so I'm trying to keep them covered all the time until they're totally healed because they just oh they were looking so so bad okay uh this is this is Groot let's see how he turned out and all I'm gonna do with him is dry brush brown and green on him Now, this is a really flexible mold. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at the black. My glove. Groot. Oh, yeah. This will be fun. Okay. Great start. By the way, I hope y'all are doing great this morning. I hope you woke up with sunshine and and uh, I woke up with a headache. But I'm, you know, I'm in a positive frame of mind this morning. A lot better than I was yesterday. Poo poo hiss. Uh, <laughs> yesterday was bad. Today is going to be better. Let's start with... <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with this little bitty skeleton head because I had some of that stuff left over. Oh, okay. These are cool. Okay, that's a cool little skeleton head, y'all. Oh, yeah. It looks like a rock, a stone skeleton head. Oh, I'm going to have to do a collection of these. You know I'm going to have to. You know I'm infatuated with the stone-looking stuff. Oh, that is just awesome. That is just so cool. And I'll tell you, it feels nicer unmolding them when they're this hard they unmold a lot easier so far they do okay here's the skeleton head let's see you see how easy that was <gasps> look at there oh you see the line where i put that's okay oh my word there's gold. It's almost like this was intentional, y'all. Look. Through the jaws. Not all the way across. Just, oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is about. Yeah. Okay, I sort of wished I'd done these. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to do those today. Okay. Yeah, some of that got on the bottom when uh, I was sprinkling it in. But that's okay. I'm trying to get that one little piece. And let me tell you. Once you connect uh, mixed and mold to mixed and mold, it's like it forms a bond together. Okay, I'm hoping there will not be any uh, bubbles. Oh, and there's not. And you see the slight marbleizing? That almost looks like granite to me. 
I don't know if you can see it. <gasps> a little piece of resin was evidently left. Do y'all see that? Oh, okay. Now that has opened up a whole new... <gasps> that's not an air hole. That's like a little piece of resin was left in there. Okay. You know all those little resin pieces that... I'm going to start saving them. I'm going to start putting them in the mixed mold. Because that is awesome looking right there. Okay. Now, I over poured this. And I don't know. Now, see. It's not coming off. Because. Okay. Let's just see what it does. Let's just see. If it's not worth fooling with. Oh, but it is. It is. Okay. Now, if I don't break it trying to get the overpour off. Let's see how this works. I should be doing this on my cutting mat. And I should have my old X-Acto knife out here doing that with. I don't know what I did with it. Okay.
Okay, let's see here. These things worked wonderfully. I'm going to have to sand it down more, but I'm not going to do that right this second. Because what I want to do right now, and I can get that, and that's because I over poured it. And I let it dry for as long as I did. But that's okay, because I don't have to worry about it crumbling in my hands. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to, uh, what do I do with, okay. I didn't put them up where I normally put them up. I have lost my chrome oh. markers. <laughs> okay. Oh, here they are. See, I'm a creature of habit. If I don't put things up where they should go, Now, I knew this would not come out perfect, okay? But I wanted it to be that color up underneath so I could go in and do what I'm doing now. Let's see if I can get this without going over because I don't want to go over. Oh, and I did. See, I did exactly what I did not want to do. So let me see if I can get it off in a hurry. And yes, I can. And I used alcohol, not water. And I think the best thing to do is just to do that with just a little tiny brush. I'm thinking. These are like throwaway brushes. And you may not be able to see me because I've got to get up close enough so I can see what I'm doing here. out of this which I've used quite a bit of it they've lasted I don't have any complaints with these chrome markers at all and I know let's resin's got some out but I don't know the price of them and I don't know if the price of the J Diction has changed or not but I do know that I pay ten dollars for them for the set which I thought was an excellent price.
And the key to this is to have your brush loaded enough so where it just glides. Pretty good. Just a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can't get that little bit off of right there. Okay, cool. Say so this did exactly what I was hoping for. Let's see if it fits. It needs to be sanded right there. Let me blow this dry real quick. Y'all hold your ears. I'm holding it over here so you can't hear it so much. Because y'all don't need to see me take the the, the heat gun and, and dry this. Y'all know how to do that. But I don't want to start sanding it again. And uh, I'm going to take this little file right here. Where was it? Yeah, it's right here. And I'm going to do this away from the camera. So I don't want the dust all over the place. And I'm just sanding it down. So it will fit in the stand. It should fit now. Why is it not fitting? Hmm. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's still not fitting. I don't want to cram it in there, but... Okay. I do not want to break this, so... I'm holding it over here because I don't want that... I'm holding it down away from my face where the sand is falling on the floor and I can see it the direction that it's going I don't have a mask on and I should be wearing a mask and if y'all are sanding like this you should be wearing one of those face masks there we go did I get it down enough good enough and there you have it 
and that's exactly what I was hoping for y'all and oh that won't fit seriously well I can just make a candle to go in there but why is that not fitting that's the strangest thing but it's not but it doesn't fit really good they set up like that but I don't want it to set up like that I'm happy with that right there a lot okay Woo, we're on a roll this morning let me tell you <laughs> oh. let me get my little pieces and put them over here oh this is just oh I love oh I love those little things okay now, if these turn out even half way as good as I was imagining, then I will be one happy camper this morning. So, let's get this all out of the way. Let's get this stuff off of here. I love the cleanup of this mixed mold. I do love the cleanup. I'm hoping these will be the star attraction. Whether or not they will be, I don't know. But I'm hoping. And yes, I try to clean this out as soon as I get through using it. And I stick it right back over here so I can use it again. Okay, we've done these. So let me move these molds out of the way and put them over here. Ah, see the see the little hearts. You think you you think the little hearts are going to come out what do you think I don't know okay let's just let's just do it let's just see I'm going to keep them turned. I'm cracking this in the mold. Because that's got to come out. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Perfect. It came out perfect, y'all. Well, the little piece that wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get what doesn't belong semi off of there. Without, oh, did I break that too far? I probably need to stop doing this, huh? But of course, I'm not, because I'm stubborn. <laughs> I know I am, y'all. Okay. Last one. Taking the bigger, oh, there's, 
There's an air bubble right there. But we're not going to let that deter us from knowing that this is going to be a, a gorgeous set here. <laughs> okay, we're going to turn this over. Well, modern abstracty, I think, I think it works. So let's go on. Of course, it's hard. What do y'all think? Okay, we're going to do this. I need to get more paper towels. Okay, we'll roll over here. And I love my little water thing. Because what we're going to do, so I'm going to wet this down. It's not the one I want. Okay. Let me get that. I've got molds over here. Okay, I know this is gonna be so so long, but you keep telling me you don't mind long videos, so we will find out with this one for sure. This is the type of video you need to turn on when you're crafting. And you can craft right along with me. Yeah, I'm trying to Okay. Once again, I'm saturating it with water. As you can see. Try not to overpour because I'm making a lot more work on myself because I overpoured these. 
I wouldn't have had to be doing this much sanding. Woo! I don't want to break those before I ever even get them sanded. I've got that little piece in there. Do I have one of my little sand sanding sticks out here? Here we go. There it works. Cool. Okay, I love the way that that worked. And this is coming off pretty good this way. See how it's coming off that way. Oh, that works. Okay. Let's see if that's going to come off. Yep, that's going to rub off. That's what I wanted to see. Which I didn't have to do that, but I sort of like the fact that it's not so... Uh, y'all can see me sand in this piece, can't you? And I'm not using the bigger piece because this has got more curves and I can control this one better. And I know I can get these wet and still reuse them because I have many times.
And this is a fairly thin piece in areas. And that's something that I did want to try. See how it would work. And I'll measure to see exactly uh, how thick this piece right here is, right in here. But that was pretty easy to sand down right there. Do you like the gold in there? I'm not sure if I like the hearts. I may remove the hearts. Let me soak this down with water. Now I keep flipping it because I want to be able to see much I need to cut off. This is fixing to come off. Okay, let's get some sanding done. I think it's going to be light sanding, except for right around the head area. That's it. It did pick the hearts up. one I like the best right there I think okay let's try something because I'm not real happy with the hearts so let's see if I can nope I ain't coming off this is alcohol <laughs> Okay, so let's try something here. Nope, I don't want that one. I want that one. <clears throat> Once again, we're pulling. our markers out. 
or chrome. Okay, and they're all going to be a little bit different because I'm following the original. Just enough. Okay, but we're not going to stop there. I'm going to call these my bleeding heart thinkers. Yes, y'all do that? Do you come up with names for your stuff? <laughs> I used to do that a lot when I was doing alcohol inks, uh, the paintings. And of course, I was selling those. And I would come up with names. I would look at it and whatever it reminded me of. Uh, and I think what I need to do is to get a dotter, dotting tool. I don't know if it's going to work, and I will mess it up if it doesn't. This one has got too much. I don't 
don't like that. It's not flowing like I want it to. There it goes, okay. Yeah, I want them to look like teardrops. They don't all have to be the same. Each person's heartbreak is bigger or smaller. It varies. And yes, I guess this is symbolic. But we all have heartbreaks. It's part of life. And sometimes it helps to know that there's people that can relate. And you don't feel like you're all by yourself. So here we go. And that's all that's going to be on there. <clears throat> clean this mess up. Do I need to sand this down? I don't think so. Is there any air bubbles in this? Wow. I so want to fill his eyeballs up with gold. <laughs> Okay, let's do it, right? Let's do it. There's no reason not to. Except for the fact that I might run out of gold before it's over with. I'm not sure how far to take it. I guess I can always clean off the over part, right? No poot. See, I took too much off. Oh, my. Be careful, y'all, when you're doing this. You see what I just did? I got overconfident. It actually just slipped. But I wasn't being as careful. Oh, that's just too cool. Look at that, y'all. Oh, my word. Oh, my good gracious. Should I do his nose? No. I think I'm going to just leave it alone, right? Just let his eyeballs... Uh, yeah, let me get that off of there.
There we go. Oh, that, that is just so cool looking right there. Oh, let me get that part. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool. That is cool. I'm gonna call it Golden Eyes. Golden Eyes Scully. That's the name of that. Golden Eyes Scully. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, y'all. I'll be the first one to admit I ain't all here. But I have so much fun when I just play and not let things bother me at all. And that's basically what I did last night. Is I just played and I didn't really worry about anything. And that's exactly what I needed. And it worked. And I'm doing it again this morning. I'm just playing. For all of y'all that appreciate that, you'll watch it. And for those that don't, they'll just turn me off or fast forward and that's exactly what they should do and I do have some bubbles which I will deal with after that dries now and that's not as uh, that just pops out at you that one's not as uh, dramatic but I still think it's so fun it is just fun. So, we have a little bit of everything. Oh, and that was acrylic ink that I used for the red on the thinkers. And, uh, I'm going to clean up my mess. Oh, yeah, we hit a, a new record today. Three hours. I'm at three hours, y'all. We hit a new record, and let me tell you, I, I can tell you already that there's going to be people saying, we don't want videos this long. Your videos are too long. Who do you think's going to watch your videos for three hours? And those are the people that I don't want to watch my videos. And please, so if you're one of them, please don't leave that message. Please just fast forward or go on to somebody else <laughs> uh, and I, I, I'm really I hope y'all don't get the wrong idea that I'm being ungrateful because I'm not I am so very grateful uh, for the people that I have but I'm um, also uh, just being quite honest when I say you know I'm not for everybody and I know it. And if I'm, if I'm not for you, there's no reason to leave a hateful remark or tell me what you think I'm, you know, should be doing. <laughs> it's just simple. If you don't like the content, don't watch the channel. <laughs> uh, because I have to tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed what I did last night and this morning. I did. And you can tell the difference when I thoroughly enjoy what I'm doing versus when I feel like I'm rushing. The outcome is so much better. And I think the outcome of this was amazing. I do. I like the hearts now. Is it abstract? Oh, it most definitely is abstract. It's most definitely contemporary. I'm going to call it my Bleeding Hearts thinker set. Uh, my Bleeding Hearts jewelry set, I couldn't keep a piece. Every time I made one piece, and and uh, it was gone. Uh, I just couldn't keep it. And I did a limited uh, 
number of those and i won't do them again uh, i'll do something a little bit different but i won't ever uh, duplicate and that was with polymer clay and it's because i want my pieces to be unique i want pieces now pieces like this people can reproduce those very easily and that's okay but they won't ever be identical and lower thank you i have to do another shout out she sent me an uh, instant message and i never even thought about doing it but because she said something i am going to start doing it she told me she asked me to start signing my pieces and dating them uh and so i am going to do that i am going to be signing them um and I'm not sure how I'm going to be signing them yet. I will come up with some kind of signature. I will probably ask my son, Justin, to come up with a really cool signature for Southern Lady Artistic Creations for me to use. He is excellent at doing that. Um, and he's really busy, so I don't know if he's going to have the time to do it, but I am going to ask him. Um, I want something simple something distinct and i will start putting in on the bottom of each piece i'll probably order a stamp for it from etsy and stamping it but although when you stamp it it's not a true signature so let's scratch that no i won't i i will uh, i will do the signature handwritten uh which means that they they won't look the same every time and that's okay but i will start doing that um and until I get that, I, I may just start signing, uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I will let you know uh, when I figure that out. But I, I do want to say thank you, Laura. Uh, that suggestion was a very sweet suggestion. And um, uh, she, she thought of that because she is a, a true artist herself. I have never thought of myself as an artist, y'all. I, I, I would just come straight out and tell y'all that. I've always known that I was a crafter. I have been a crafter since I was 12 years old. I'm 64, soon to be 65. Um, I can't think of any craft that has ever existed in my lifetime that I have not done and tried. Um, there are certain ones that I loved and certain ones I didn't really like, Uh I did not try, bless my mother's heart, um, I miss her every day, but she was so, so good at knitting and crocheting, and she tried, she tried to teach me, I just didn't have the patience, I didn't want to learn, so I didn't, and years later, I, I did learn how to do the knitting with your arm and your hand, which is cool, I mean, it's just really cool, and it's fast, and it's quick, and that's me, um, I want something that uh, is going to be fast, quick, and I don't have to wait on it. Um, but I've had so many people in the last year and a half tell me that I was wrong, that I'm not just a crafter, I'm an artist. And I started thinking about that. And so for all of y'all out there that have thought the same way I have, that you thought you were just a... Uh, a crafter and not an artist you need to rethink that okay look up the definition of artist and just because you didn't go to some fancy art school or you took art in high school or which I did I took it one year and and I'm so glad I had Miss Hasbro uh, and she was a fantastic teacher and I loved her dearly and she taught me core basics that I've always remembered and that did help, but that doesn't mean anything. I, I believe now, uh, after so many people saying, stop calling yourself the crafter, you are an artist. I think we all are. And I think some people think that they don't have the ability to do any kind of art. And I think it's just the fear of failure and, and not putting, you know, not trying, um, just because it doesn't look like somebody else's doesn't mean it's not beautiful. Uh, you created it. And you created it with your spirit. And and it is, that is what's coming out. So I truly believe that everything anybody creates 
is a a beautiful piece and so please you know uh don't don't not think does that make sense that's not english oh that is not so proper english there <laughs> Uh, do not think, <laughs> do not think, um, that, that you're not gifted and that you're not talented and that you're not an artist. Um, uh, I, I will stop saying that I am not an artist now for the first time in almost 65 years. And I, I want to thank each and every one of you for that. Uh, you have made me open my eyes and, and realize and, and I do believe now that um, all of us are. So when someone asks you, you hold up your chin and you very proudly say, yes, I'm an artist because you are. Alrighty, with that, wait a minute. I'm going to, I've got one more thing. Let's see if they're dry. Oh goodness, I don't know if they're dry or not. Let's move this out of the way. But of course, this is everything that I made. And I think it all looks phenomenal. Even that, even though it broke off, I can still use it. And uh, I so want to dry brush that and show that to you. Uh, and I may. I mean, this is so long. Who cares, right? This, this is not a normal video. If people don't want to watch it, they don't have to, right? And that's uh, that's the way I'm going to start thinking in the future. Okay. Is that dry? Oh, no, that's still wet. Oh, poo-poo. Okay, let's just see if I can remove it anyway. If it's not totally dry, I'm not going to be able to, though. Oh, did I use the wrong side of the paper? Oh, please tell me I did not use the wrong side of the paper. This is not peeling off. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Oh, yeah, it is so not peeling off. It may be where I have to cut it. I may have used the wrong side, y'all. I think I did. I think I used the wrong side. <laughs> and so this may not work. This may tear on me. Yeah, it's picking up the paper up underneath it. <laughs> Which I could, you know. Yeah, it's picking the paper up. Yep, it tore. Okay, we'll just do this. I can use it with that. I'll just do this. I'll get this off. And I may wet it on the back and see if I can't get this off. It's not totally dry, and that may be one of the issues, but it should be. But it was light, and I may have put too much on there, too. And it's sort of cold in here, so that may have something to do with it, too. You know, all that makes a difference. But that's still goopy. That's still really, really wet right there, which I don't understand.
I'm trying to dry it enough to get it off of here. What's the glitter all over? I don't know what that is. I had it just setting out. <laughs> There's glitter floating in the air in here. That's, that's wild. And if I did this long enough, I could dry that. But I don't want to spend a long time on this. So let me flip this over. And let me just see if I can do this with that. Nope, it's, oh, it's attached. Oh, it is so attached. Oh, look at that. Now, that's where it was not totally dry. <laughs> uh, I... Oh, yeah. It is totally attached. Mm -mm. No, I ripped it. I don't want to rip it. Oh, that's just wild. Will it come off when it's wet? That's my question. Gosh, y'all. I didn't expect this. Okay, well we're gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna let that dry out. Let's get the other one. <laughs> this has got glitter all over it too, y'all. What is the deal with the glitter? That is just, let me get the water off of here. Look at the glitter. Yeah, this is stuck too. This is so stuck on this wax paper. And I so want to be able to get it off. Without tearing it. Is so not wanting to come off this wax paper.
Okay. Which side did I use? I used the shiny side. I know what I'm going to do from now on, though. I will put a release so this doesn't happen. That's the whole purpose of using wax paper, though. But this is a dollar store wax paper, so maybe, maybe it's not the same. Because uh, it's definitely not wanting to come off. Which is sad. Maybe I can get enough of it off to show y'all. I don't think I could use the heat gun. I don't know. Let me try to hold your ears for a minute. Sometimes when you heat something up, it's too hot to hold. Did that help? Sorry, guys. But I want y'all to see this. And if it's a struggle, you need to know it's a struggle. So if this happens to you, then you're not sitting there thinking, well, what in the world am I doing wrong? be doing a uh yeah see I just tore a hole let's do this instead of doing the back I mean doing the front let's just let's just heat up the whole back really quick and let's just see if that works Understand this is one pie napkin here that I'm pulling on, and that's why I'm being as careful as I am.
for this top. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do this. So I think it will work even with this coating on. We're going to see anyway. Have y'all figured out what I'm doing yet? Yeah. There's a hole there, but that's okay. And I could probably spend time and peel every bit of that off. And maybe I should. But I don't think I'm going to. Uh -oh. She says this as she's still picking at it. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if it's if I could get one big chunk off, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Okay, I want to show you the difference. Can you see where uh, the wax paper is not and where the wax paper is? And I really wish I could get the wax paper off. And if I wanted to spend a lot of time with this, I probably could, but I don't want to next time i will and see i use clear glue too and, and maybe that's why maybe i should have used white that may have made the difference right there uh, but it's strong well, I'll tell you what, it formed a, formed a bond. Okay. Now, let's see if it will do this. Yeah, I wrinkled it all up. And this is supposed to make rice paper, y'all. Yeah. Well, something similar to rice paper. And it is actually durable, you know. It's still thin enough, and yeah, I, I've got a hole there. But that's okay. But you can... You could put this in something. Uh, and you could use that. Well, let's just try this. Uh, let's see here. I have this tray. And I'm trying to eyeball it. I 
Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Where I cut it. Make sure that I cut it in the right areas. No, I cut it way too. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. That one's about right. And that would fit right in there. And I'm almost tempted to try this with the mixed mold. Y'all want to stick around for just a couple more minutes? Or should this be my next video? I guess this can be my next video. Alrighty. I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me and staying with me for three and a half hours. Um, I know this is not for everyone, but for all of y'all that do appreciate it, thank you so much. I would love a thumbs up button. And for all of y'all that have not subscribed and you think this is something that you would enjoy watching, I would love for you to do so. The Facebook group, of course, the, the link for that is in the description below. If you have any comments or questions, nice comments, please. Um, I know how long my video is, so you don't have to tell me it's too long. And um, Or if you have any suggestions, uh, I would love to hear them. Except for that my videos are too long. Um, and I would love to hear uh, where y'all are from. Uh, let me know how your day is going. 
Uh, you know, sometimes we have bad days. Sometimes it's nice uh, to just say, you know, I'm having a bad day today. And maybe we can start lifting each other up a little bit. That would be awesome. Um, alrighty. Uh, this is Tuesday morning. And uh, there's going to be another one. I'm going to be crafting all day long because I'm in the mood to do so. And I will bring you along with me. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and... and stop this one and get it uploaded and it's probably going to take me three hours to get a three and a half hour video i've never done it before um uh but it is what it is and uh again i want to say thank you i appreciate each and every one of you so much and you humble me by your uh grace and and your sweetness every day and all i can say is thank you uh and I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.